Okay, hi, I am the old musky guy, and let me explain that. Uh, it's, I'm just old musky guy by virtue of being old. I haven't been uh, hunting musky all that long. Uh, this uh, video today is going to be of my first musky. Uh, I'm still learning about it. There's a lot to learn, and that's what these videos are kind of for. Uh, people can uh, maybe kind of learn things along with me. Uh, I've also got a lot to learn about these videos. Uh, you'll notice on the video of the uh, um, fish, uh, the camera was much too high. Uh, couldn't see much of the fight, couldn't see much of the fish. So uh, that's something uh, I've learned. And also I didn't know anything about looping at that time, so I didn't miss the uh, strike also. But future videos should be better. Should be, everything should get better as it goes along. I also didn't get a shot of me holding the uh, fish. Uh, that was because I did not plan ahead. I did not get the camera set up before I got the fish out of the net to uh, measure it. So once I did, I didn't uh, want to take a lot of time with the fish out of the water. They get the picture. The uh, water temperature was in the high 70s. I didn't want to stress the fish out too much. So rather than get the picture, I just put it back. It was a 42 incher. I did measure it. Uh, I guess you just have to take my word for that. Now, about this video, um, th as I said, this is my first muskie. It's really my only muskie. Well, I did catch one more. But that really didn't count. Uh, so uh, this is from uh, early September. Uh, I just moved to northern Wisconsin at the end of August, and like I said, the temperature was a high 70s. Uh, I didn't have any ideas about where to find muskies, uh, so I relied on a fishing hotspots map. Uh, it, uh, and it worked out okay. Uh, it ended up, uh, the spot that I did uh, go to, which was marked on the map, uh, where I caught this fish, it turns out the reason why it was such a good spot is uh, there were reeds and then uh, a weed bed right in front of that, drop off right after that, rocks off to the left, uh, pretty much everything that a uh, muskie could want. Also at the time I had no idea about uh, you know, moonrise, uh, moon overhead, all that sort of thing. Uh, I've come to learn a bit more about that and when I do did look back on that date, when I caught the fish, uh, which I caught right at sunset, it also was moonrise. So again, the perfect time to catch muskie too. I did make uh, one major mistake on this day. <laughs> Just after I launched the boat and got into it, I looked and I realized I had left all my muskie lures at home. They were sitting on my garage floor. Uh, so what I was fishing with uh, was a buck. 49 buzz bait that you get at uh, Fleet Farm. Uh, did have a trailer hook on it, so it did have two hooks. Uh, I had caught large northerns on these in the past, so I knew they could hold up. Uh, I cast it into the uh, reeds, my second cast at sundown into these reeds, about 20 yards out from the boat. Saw a huge wake behind the uh, buzz bait. I knew what that was, even though I'd never seen it before. Figured I was going to have a fight right at boat side, but about 10 yards out, the muskie hit. And after a bit of a fight, I did get the uh, fish in. It's one thing to, uh, when you're watching the video, please disregard all the moaning and groaning as I'm fighting it, because remember, I am an old guy. So uh, here's the video. I yeah, hope you enjoy it.
Okay, so there it is. Uh, some of you may have noticed I'm using a spinning rod setup. Uh, guilty. Uh, that is what I'm now using as my light musky rig. Uh, it's a uh, medium heavy St. Croix rod and I've got a Cabela's uh, saltwater spinning reel on it. It actually works well for uh, lighter baits. Uh, I do have a 9.3 foot rod coming hopefully soon. It's been back ordered. Uh, and that's going to be a bait caster, uh, and I'll, I'm going to set that up for my uh, heavy lures. So we'll see how that works out, and I see that in future videos. Well, see you then. Oh!